Good evening and welcome to the Unraid March Digest. I'm your host Stefano Partita and let's talk about all the things that went down in March. Unraid 7.1 Beta 1 is now available for download and you can install it today if you wanted. But before you run off and go install the beta, you should definitely know about some potential issues that you might run into, particularly with third-party drivers like NVIDIA or Realtek. Some containers may fail to launch or no longer load because the drivers may need to be recompiled in order for the containers to take advantage of those drivers. You should also know that before you update to the beta, you should definitely update all your plugins, including the Unraid Connect plugin, so that way you can mitigate as many potential issues as possible. So with all that in mind, what is included with the Unraid 7? dot one beta one release. With this release, you can expect some new features like wireless networking support, VM enhancements, the ability to import foreign ZFS pools, and Battlemage GPU support. Of all those features listed, there are two that interest me in particular. The first being the ability to import foreign ZFS pools. So that's really cool because if you're on TrueNAS and you're looking to convert over to Unraid for whatever reason, you can now import those ZFS pools, making the transition from TrueNAS to Unraid that much more simple. And also you can have the ability to have Battlemage Intel GPU support now with the 6.12.20 Linux kernel. And that's really cool because Battlemage looks like it's gonna be a very impressive GPU, especially for servers if you're looking for a budget graphics card, this will be something that you could use. Now, is it a great alternative to CPUs and all your other options? Probably not, but it is very flexible in terms of what you can do with it. So that's really great to see that that support is included. There are some VM enhancements that are also particularly interesting. We have VIR GL and QXL support being added. With these new enhancements, one of the most interesting is gonna be VIR GL, and everyone is gonna to wanna to hear this. VIR GL will give you the ability to use your Intel or AMD graphics card across multiple Linux VMs at the same time. That's right, you heard me. You can now use one graphics card for multiple Linux VMs at the same time in the beta one release. Now, if you're wondering, well, what about Windows? Well, right now it's not working. It may work in the future, but I don't have the details to explain any of that at this time. And as far as NVIDIA goes, I believe it will work with the Nuvo drivers and not the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. But finally, a win for everyone on AMD and also a big win for everyone that's using Intel. Good job, guys. With QXL Virtual GPU support, you now have the ability to support multiple screens and have adjustable memory allocation. As far as user VM templates goes, you can save and reuse custom configurations, which is a great addition. There's other VM improvements as well, like CPU pinning is now optional, whereas it was not before. And the primary GPU pass-through warning now alerts users that a compatible vBIOS is required when using GPU pass-through. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just now learning the beta 2 is actually available. <sighs> well, we're not gonna discuss it in this video because I just got done telling you everything you need to know about the beta 1, and there's really not that much of a big difference between beta 2. Just use the beta 2 since you already know it's out there and available. Don't use beta 1. All the same stuff still applies, and then some. Uh, just give me one second to clean up over here because I don't have a secretary or anybody to help me out, so. Uh, while we wait, though, I can tell you that the LinkStation S1 and N2 have been reviewed, and those videos are now live on the Uncast show itself, as well as other outlets on YouTube. So definitely be sure to check that out, because I believe you all will be interested in knowing about the LinkStation N2 and S1, as they add some new features like 10 gig networking and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet networking to those systems, which is a huge plus for anyone that's pushing some serious data to their Unraid servers. A very interesting blog post and video is available on building the ultimate energy efficient Unraid server. And not to give away all of the things from this, but it's really cool to see that a 90 terabyte server idles around 20 to 25 watts, while also having an N100 based motherboard. And there's a whole bunch of other things in there as well that make this a very pleasant video as well as read. So definitely be sure to check that out if you're all interested in learning about the most efficient Unraid server that may exist. One of the newest shows to land on the Uncast channel is the Ed and Stefano Unleashed show. 
This was previously a pre-recorded show between Ed and myself, but we've now transitioned this to be live. So that means that you guys will have the chance to participate in this live show, ask us questions about self-hosting, Unraid, or really anything tech, and we can all laugh and have some fun along the way. So mark your calendars because on April 5th of this year, around 9 a.m. Central Time, we should go live, and we look forward to seeing all of you there to interact with us. Be sure to follow the link in the video description below to get easy access to all that community content as well as information about the app of the month. And be sure to like and subscribe while you're down there so that I know and we all know that you enjoy content like this. I will see you all on the next Unraid Digest show. Good night.